I think I've made more money in salary than Austin Matthews through his career because this guy's gotten paid. I, I think I think over the course when 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 he hits thirty, he would have made one hundred and twenty two million dollars in the NHL. Some people are wondering, like, oh, well, like, like, why why would you want to get paid in bonus rather than salary? What's the difference? Now, bonuses are protected by lockouts. Like, let's say I think Shea Weber protected himself, and all the big dogs, especially playing for teams like Toronto, who have that type of money. Some teams don't, right? They can't pay you in, in the bonus, and they don't want to give it to you because if there is a lockout, they're not bringing any money in. They don't want to pay you out. It's more to me that you get the money immediately. You get it to your financial advisor. Yeah, of course. It's it's just that's the goal in a sense. Obviously, the lockout protects. It's nice, but it's more about like the sooner you get the money, the sooner that money's making money. But not every team can afford to do this. So you're going to say Austin Matthews is going to cause another lockout for owners going after signing bonuses. So is that what you're saying? I, I could die on that hill. 